The House Republicans are just wrapping up a meeting on the details of that bill. Uh, Ways and Means Committee Chairman Kevin Brady told Republicans that, quote, the best is yet to come. Here's what we know about it so far. It would first make the individual tax cuts permanent. It would also loosen restrictions on retirement savings and allow businesses to write off more of their startup costs. Now, there were two big problems, though, with this bill. The first being that it would make the caps on state and local income tax deductions permanent as well, and that's going to anger Republicans in New York, New Jersey, and even in California. This bill is also estimated to cost $627 billion over the next decade. That price tag is pretty high. Now, Brady told Republicans in the meeting that he considered considers this a modest investment in households and that he believes deficits would be even higher if tax reform 1.0 hadn't been passed. Now, Republicans are planning to release the text of this bill early next week and hold a hearing on it toward the end of next week. We're hoping to see a vote by the end of September, guys.